So, Kieran of Foxjaw, how are you? I'm great, and yourself? Good, yeah, you're here at Download. Yeah, how's, crazy, uh, crazy. How's your day, man? Amazing, yeah, we just played the, the Dog Tooth stage. It was yeah. um, a dream come true. Yeah. Dream come true, yeah. Um, I've been watching Download for since I was a five-year-old little boy. Yeah. And I'm, I'm in a band with my brother as well, so we watch it together with my dad. And uh, to play here you know, on the same lineup as Iron Maiden and Korn and all that lot. Yeah. That's unreal, <clears throat> unreal. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I'm imagining you've been here all weekend? Yeah, yeah. we came came up Friday um, and non-stop just watched bands. Just Who have you seen? Who have we seen? Um, Normandy, Sleep Token, uh, Holden Absence, Loathe, Iron Maiden, as I just mentioned. Saw a bit of Kiss, but I was really tired. Towards the end of Kiss, I had to just... I had to dip out. Go and sleep. Not, not very rock and roll <laughs> at all, but I had to sleep for a little bit. <laughs> Good. So once you finish here this weekend, where are you heading off to next? What's the plan? Well, uh, what is the plan? We got, I think, 2000 Trees is our next festival, um, and then we have Radar, yep. and then I guess a bunch of just some tours in later in the year. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Come and join in. Come on. Yeah. Come yeah. On. Jump in. Look at that. Straight from <coughs> fresh off the fresh off the rocks. Wait. Wave to the camera. <laughs> Hello. How's your day been? Oh, amazing. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Yeah. How was your set? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was, it was special. It's um, We've been going to this festival since we were kids. And uh, it's surreal, really, to yeah. play players. It's just amazing. Just actually to hear like a lot of the lyrics from my last record as well, being sang back from a big crowd. Yeah, yeah amazing. Yeah, good. But, well, they, they probably learnt the words because of the pandemic and yeah. that got in the mm. way so you've had to do kind of promotion of things online how how much of an impact did that have on what you had planned at the time um, well I think it it was like a bit of a lockdown album for people like um, like we even did like one of the videos was like literally done on our phones and we I pieced it together just so that it could be like we could get a video out because we couldn't get together when it first you know, the 2020 when it first hit um, so we um yeah, it's been surreal, and we just watched it kind of grow and grow. We couldn't tour it, which was like quite disheartening. But I know a lot of bands are in the same position. Um, but our debut album came out in a global pandemic, so that's something that you can't, <laughs> not everyone can say. So I, yeah. think, I think a lot of people like went through a lot of shit times. I don't yeah. think it's fair, but shit times. Um, and they have listened to that album, and then that's kind of like a memory of bringing them up and lifting them up out of what could be a dark period for, for someone. Yeah, really cool. no, for sure. Um, but with that and having that come out in the pandemic, have you been working on music since? And you back in the studio? Yeah, we, we've um, we've finished a new album that's going to come out mm. at the end of the year, hopefully. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely crazy because uh, even with that, like um, we had a plan what was going to happen with it, and COVID changed that plan. Like we um, we wanted to, to go and make it in Thailand was what we were planning. So to do it. Um, so I wrote some like really tropical sounding songs and then that happened. It was like we recorded it in Cornwall and then it was suddenly like the album has become this other thing now that we wouldn't ever plan. So it's like almost like this like little embryo of like <laughs> this merging little like hellish creature that's like, what is this? Do you know what I mean? And it's, it's, it's confusing and brilliant at the same time. Like, it's, it's very strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Um, so how does this record sound and, and compare to your, your debut? different a yeah. lot different than yeah. the first one yeah it's very proggy it uh, has elements of our of what our last album was yeah but it takes it on a different level it takes it lighter it takes it heavier and kind of explores the yeah. areas around it yeah it's like it's heavier and then lighter at the same time there's like <laughs> big like kind of almost poppy songs but then they're like a lot of prog going on it's a lot of like um like a lot of chorus a lot of like policey sounding guitars and lots of strange there's a lot of simps on it because I, I got into like I got a Moog sub fatty just before we did it and then it just ended up like all over it so it's like a lot of bass simps and it's very crushing like because I I love like the way bands like Death Grips do simps and and Racket Cannon from Belgium or another one they, they just absolutely smash that and I, I really wanted to bring that into Fox Show because it was like uh, Raw Swan is very guitar-y like obviously you got Infinite Badness for simps and that kind of like the cure, I guess, like kind of Simpson. We, we love. But I wanted to do something. I think Charlie to, um, Charlie XCX's album was a huge one for us in lockdown <laughs> as well. Um, and we loved the like push in modern production. Whereas Royal Swan is like very vintage and analog. This is a little bit more like modern, um, but still heavy. Like, but that's what we want to do. Every album we want to change it up. 
Was it the plan to do that, or is that simply just how it came out? Uh, it was, yeah, it was intentional. Like, but when we first started writing um, the songs, um, it was like me and Josh were pushing to do something that was more like, so we could put some bits on track as well and do like some live bits that were almost like metronomic and a dancing. Lot of loops and shit, yeah, yeah. a lot of loop, lot of looping. Because that's how I write. I write on the loop pedal. Or, like Josh is like a mastermind behind Logic. Obviously, he's a producer and obviously he produces our records. But I, I actually write on a on a Boss looper and I like. Because I, I feel like writing in a loop, if I sit there and have to like drag files and go, like, <laughs> my, I, I lose the, the momentum for the idea. So when I'm looping, I'm caught in that moment, and there's something about the moment. And a lot of those loops actually end up staying on the album. Like the opening track to the next album is starts off a really dark loop that I wrote, like, when I was staying, I was living with my mum at the time. I wrote it like on the floor, like in my pajamas, like all fucked up, like really depressed and that. And that loop became the loop on the album. We didn't re record it. There's some magic in that moment when it first gets created. So, a lot, think, a lot yeah. of it was done remotely as well, wasn't it? Between you and Josh, yeah, over Zoom yeah. as like everyone else was. Yeah, we wrote, we wrote on over Zoom, which is a, a new experience for, yeah. for you guys. For sure. It was it was frustrating because I had like bad internet and a bad computer, yeah. so it was just like <laughs> that's the West Country for you. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It was just it was just like freezing midway through, and I was like, oh, do. And it'd be like, we were sat there yeah. like, oh, fuck, can, can you do I, this? I, I and, then, and then I'd ring him. <laughs> I'd ring him on my phone. He'd be like, Josh, yeah, so can you do this? Change that bit there. And like, <laughs> it'd be like, we ended up just like being on the phone while we're on Zoom. Because <laughs> you could like screen mirror yes. and do all that stuff. So yeah, it was, it was a fucking different, different experience um, to what we usually do. Yeah. And next one will be different again. Because that's how we stay excited about making records that we just go in so we're all listening to new stuff every uh, new stuff comes out we find new stuff and then we want to just make Fox just constantly changing like metamorph into a different thing and but also still be us but we couldn't make the same album over and over yeah you know yeah, absolutely and uh, where can people see you after this weekend because people will want to see you live obviously you've got 2000 trees which we can't wait for but what's the plan for touring end of this year and into next year you've got some dates coming out at the end of the year yeah, nothing, nothing announced yet nothing announced sh- soon it will be yeah so yeah. can't really say that much yeah so <laughs> it's UK stuff. there will yeah, be UK, a, be stuff. UK and, and some other places Europe as well, some other places so. Where haven't you been before that you want to get to at some point? Ooh, we, we've done one show in Germany, but like yeah. Germany is like, a place that we've always wanted to go. I think I'd like to get Fox Show into Germany a lot more because I think mm. the German crowd will really enjoy the, the music we're making. Um, but I'm I'm into mm. like I'm a traveller, you know. Like I'd like to go and play strange places. I'd like to go to Mexico and play Mexico and play like go like. Well, I'd love to go to Australia as well because yeah, we've got a huge fan base big, in Australia. We're calling that in Australia, aren't we? Like, so, just, just like being like, the like, that's why we wanted to do the album in Thailand because I like the idea of taking like these four little blokes from Bristol that have started in this little shed and to be able to take us across the world and make something. Uh, like, I want to make an Arctic album as well. I want to go up like into the north, like the north, like Scandinavia, <laughs> like up in Finland or Iceland and, and do like something like really cold and yeah, like, so it's, I don't know, I just, I, if we can travel, we will. Any way mm-hmm. we can, do you know what I mean? So. Excellent. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank you for having, having a us. chat with you. Yeah, you too, cheers, mate. You Thanks too. very much. Thanks very much. No <laughs>